things. Um, has it got a flash? Is that going to be on? Well, you've got 16 megs of data left, so get on with it. So, uh, what I'm going to say, hell, when I was back, quite late actually, I noticed my hair thinning. It was always gloriously beautiful. Um, and when I got to about 31, I was like, where has my hair gone? Because I used to have, like, hair like James, just thick, and I'd flick it about. But And then it's like, I've just noticed my hair gone. And of course, it doesn't happen overnight, does it? It recedes. And I don't know what I was doing. I was, like, busy doing something rather than I've noticed my hair gone completely. And I, you know, it really got me down to one to do. And there was no information, you know. I was like, well, what do I do? And, God, if I wish I'd known uh, then what I know now. There are things you can do. Some of which, you know, you know, there are some chemicals involved, you know. There are tablets you can take. There are lotions you can put on your hair. Things you buy off the shelf in boots, don't bother with. You know, certain shampoos that claim to make you, you know, have hair like James. It's generally, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Just enjoy your hair, James. I wish I could. Um, so I'll tell you what I did, I started on tablets called Propecia, and these are chemicals, so all medication, there's a risk involved, so I haven't ever had a problem with it, but you know, I'm not here to push medication because that's, I'm not a certified doctor, I hate to break it to you, I'm not actually a doctor, but Propecia is great because what that does, it kind of neutralises the hormone which basically is associated with hair loss, that's Propecia. I will do a separate workshop on hair loss. There's another product called Mono Monoxidil, which you can put on your hair either as a, a cream or a lotion, um, and that encourages blood flow to the scalp. Um, there are various other things you can do. I had a hair restoration surgery operation. So what that basically <coughs> involved was, because I was like, the only way, if your hair is completely gone, it's gone. There's nothing you can do. You can, there's things you can do to thicken up your hair, products you can use, camouflage products, but if the hair is gone, it's gone. So I had a strip of hair taken from the back of here, then they punctured lots of little holes in the front of my hair, stuck the hair follicles in, and most of them stayed. So my hair's pretty good at the moment, uh, so I got my hairline back. It's about £4,000. Uh, it's a lot of money. It was really worth it. It's, uh, it's not a lot of fun having someone cut a strip of your head away. But, you know, no pain, no hair, as they say. So, uh, you know, and I'm not recommending surgery, but it worked for me. It's a lot of dollar. I actually am about to spend about £2,000, I'll tell you about this another time, uh, in more detail, um, on a, um, it's a machine 